Hey guys, what's up? David here. Today we're going to talk about another... And it's something to do with Batman and Robin. Related. And that is the promotional buns to celebrate the movie Batman and Robin. So these were to celebrate the last Schumacher movie that... Joe Schumacher and the team from Warner Brothers directed and it had a hate behind it and it had also mixed reviews on it as well and they said that wasn't the best in the franchise next up we got Chris O'Donnell's Robin now people are going to say like ah how come they didn't use the forever costume um because George Schumacher wanted to do something different with uh different different with Robin so that's uh Chris O'Donnell as Robin really good choice but I still miss the forever costume but the last one that he was in kind of made the movie a little enjoyable to watch I like forever in this one it's hard to say between these two I kind of like both of them as well and then you got the villains into the picture after the defeat of Riddler and Harvey Two-Face played by uh, Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones so they decide, hey, let's do Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze right there. So if you guys look at all the other Mr. Freeze's, his skin tone, this one kind of looks like a pale bl whitish bluish color. But there's Mr. Freeze. I kind of really like his performance in the movie. And I just don't understand why people don't like his cast as Mr. Freeze. But I give this one awesome. Let's continue on. And then for the next one, we got Uma Thurman as Pamela Isley, a.k.a. Poison Ivy. There's what the button looks like. And then last in the buttons we got Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl. So that's a look at the promotional Batman and Robin buttons that they were celebrating from the movie, the 1997 movie Batman and Robin. And as you can see here, I don't know if you guys can see it all too good, but they're they're all they are right there. Batman, Robin, Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, and Batgirl. So, um, if you guys know on Cody's House of Geeks banner, the same picture has these characters on them, but there's only one character missing in this button set, and that is Bane. Now, these are the only Batman and Robin buttons I got from the movie. I don't have any from Batman Forever. I got the Circle One, but I don't have the characters one. I do not have Batman, Robin, Chase Brody, and Riddler, and Harvey Two-Face. But, um... Alright, you guys are probably gonna say, like, David Patrick, do you like Batman Forever or this one right here? Well, it's hard to choose which one I like. I kind of like both of them. Um, the reason why I like about Batman and Robin as well, I know people are going to hate on me for this, but I kind of feel like Batman and Robin was a lot different than Batman Forever was because if you guys take like the, uh, the characters, the storyline and such... So, yes. 
um, the reason why I like about Forever, I mean, Batman and Forever was such a big kid. They decided, hey, let's do the last one in the series. So we got Batman and Robin. When it came out, it did not do well at the box office. I mean, it had, um, I mean, it had mixed reviews, stuff like that. I mean, they said it was, uh, it was a terrible movie. I mean, it was like, people said it was a terrible movie and such, and I was like, I don't know why Batman and Robin gets a lot of hate. I just don't get why it gets a lot of hate. But, um, what I like about Batman and Robin, the live action movie, I know people are going to hate me on this, but I really like Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze and then Irma Thurman as Poison Ivy and James Swenson as Bane. Because what they did when they did the, I think the same lady that did Harvey Two-Face's makeup, or his, uh, you know, like in Batman Forever, she did all the Tommy's hair down and stuff like that. But in um, Batman and Robin, she actually did that with Bane. So, and then August back in 95, they were thinking about having villains in Batman and Robin. They were going to have Schwarzenegger and Poison Ivy. So they got all the comic books, Tear Siege comic books, what they were going to look like and such. And let me just, um, as you got, ask you, like, guys, this. If you guys take the 90s animated series villains to their live-action counterparts, because when I was watching uh, review spots about the Batman cartoon when he said every Mr. Freeze we've seen has had the dome helmet, and unfortunately in the Batman and Robin live-action movie well, it was just terrible, um, they continue that the same way. But, um, if you take, like, all the main villains in the previous four Batman, you got Jack Nicholson, Dane DeVito, Tommy Lee Jones, and Schwarzenegger. So, and then the second, the second villain you got, Bob the Goon, Catwoman, the Riddler and Poison Ivy and also Bane. So, and then they show back Arkham again in Batman and Robin. And I'm thinking about doing the same thing. Well, I know you guys will be impressed to see this, but what I'm thinking about doing is re -did, redo Batman Forever and Batman and Robin using the Kenner toys, using the audio, and do, like, a live-action stop-motion of Batman and Forever, Batman and Robin. The only problem is... I do not have Mr. Freeze's, uh, car that he drives, or the Freeze-mobile, I should say. And I do not have the, uh, Batman and Robin, uh, vehicles... I got the ones from Batman Forever. So, yes. So, there'll be a special announcement for that. Um, so, that's, that's all that I have talked about. So, Batman and Robin, to me, is probably... I watch... I watch this... I watch Forever and Batman and Robin, but there's only one thing I like to say. Like, I know I asked Cody this on the live stream and such, but when, um, okay, let, let me just talk, you, talk to you guys about this. When Robin tells Batman, you know, the Flying Graces were like a team, and you know what he was a reference to. Batman Forever that he became partners.
And then, um, oh, oh, there's also an Easter egg in Batman Robin. Harvey Two-Face in the Riddler suit. But there's only one thing. Where were they at in Arkham Asylum? So, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll definitely do more Batman Forever, Batman and Robin reviews. And I'll definitely do my really wild animals. I know I got, I know I got a bunch load of this stuff to review. As you can see, there's all my Batman movie villains. I got Batman, Robin, and Batgirl, and then for my stop motion movie, I'm going to use all the figures that they made, but there's only one character I'm missing, uh, Dr. Chase Meridian, the custom that somebody made, and then, um, what I was going to do for that is that I'll tell you guys about that in another time. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.